the red pill is a powerful experience. It's an awakening. If we first label like, oh yeah, I have nice guy tendencies and we can name what we've been, how we've been fucking up in the past, it's a way to help us move away from that. And I think that's also what you're saying is one stage of this is to have powerful, let's say, labels or powerful affirmations about herself. I'm not the piece of shit that she's telling me that I am, right? I can have my own power from within. I can have a different mindset on life. I can move toward loving myself and loving other people instead of the judgment of what comes after the words red pill quite often is red pill, therefore she acts this way. I need to control in this way is really how the conversation goes quickly, right? So, so Cynthia, let me ask you, uh, in your own, you've done men's work, you've worked, done men's work class within university, you've done men's work for years now, you're a coach for men. What do you see as those stages of them breaking away, like owning their own self? And then the next stage, as David Data would say, the second level of how do I get along in the world? And then that third level of I can bring love into the world. I can honor myself from the inside. I can feel myself from the inside. Like we talk about here, as far as the spiritual mindset that we believe this in this tribe, we believe we source ourselves from the inside that we don't validate from the outside. So what have you seen in relation to Jason's story about men who start this work and need maybe that identity or that label to break forward in their life? Tell us about that. Yeah, well, I, I think the identity and label has so much to do with just kind of claiming claiming the elephant in the room, like really owning that the the energies that you as a man, you know, probably even as really young were feeling in terms of dominance and hierarchy and how women's energy played and all that are real and have powerful meaning and are are fun fun to play with um so that first stage i think is just like kind of claiming and owning that as opposed to you know trying to stuff stuff it down in the box that culture or a woman or someone has said this is wrong bad um i it, it, and i even you know when i was in college studying you know dominance and how that different energy came across i actually created an independent study to practice that because I felt that as a woman, like I felt a different energy from men when I walked by and I wanted to understand that. And I remember my teacher was a woman and I said, okay, so this is what I feel when I walk by. If, if I was to be in more of that dominant energetic place and I walked by her showing her that and she like chastised me and you know, basically told me that that energy was wrong, bad, and aggressive. And so I think that is in that our culture so much. So it's first owning that and then identifying what you truly want and how you want to use that energy. And then the third stage is how to use that energy to invite, you know, the power and presence of the woman, the woman, the, the women in your life. Yeah. And that's, that's what we're learning. So feeling love from within yourself. That's, that's really the ultimate goal of this spiritual mindset is I can get up in the morning. I can feel myself. I can feel love for myself, love for the world. I can bring that on into the world. I can realize how other people interact with one another and honor that and not fall into those uh, negative spirals, if you will, and then move forward in my life.